One of the most interesting things about the laptop market in 2021, I think, is the big amount of 16-inch laptops that starts coming out. I have been looking at the IdeaPad 5i Pro 16-inch before here on this channel, and my last video was about the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus, and that received quite a lot of views and comments, so there seems to be a lot of you guys that are actually interested in this kind of laptop, and not only the more portable 14-inch form factor that I have been covering the past two years. This 16-inch genre started with the MacBook Pro 16 that was released a few years ago and that has been really popular and sort of took over the 15-inch version as the main powerhouse machine in the Mac lineup. But now there starts to be Windows alternatives available. One of the devices I've been looking into a lot recently is the Lenovo ThinkBook 16P. I have also been looking at the ThinkBook models before. For example, the 15-inch version, also the 14 and the 13-inch versions. But they haven't really caught my attention. And the first one that really does that is for sure the 16P version. As with a lot of other laptops in the 16-inch category and laptops with AMD CPUs in general, it is really hard to get your hands on them. I will have to do this spec check format and show you why I think this is a really interesting laptop for 2021. This is the product page of the ThinkBook 16P. This is the Gen 2 16 AMD version. And as you can see here, here are some brief specs of it, which is that it comes with a Ryzen 9. It comes with up to NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics, a 16 inch screen, with 2.5K resolution, which is a very good middle ground that is not 4K, not Full HD. One of the ways this laptop differs to a lot of other Lenovo offerings is that it has the fingerprint reader built into the power button. And this is something that I've had in some laptops, but it's really not common, and most Lenovo laptops will have only Windows Hello via the camera. The next thing I find super interesting here is the port selection. As you can see here, on the left-hand side, you have a 3.5mm headphone microphone combo jack. You have a full-size SD card reader. And then you have two USB-C ports. And if you've been watching me here on this channel, you've heard me whine about having two fully-spec USB-C ports. That's something I value a lot, because I want to be able to plug in multiple USB-C peripherals at the same time. According to specification, these are both two fully spec USB-C ports with both DisplayPort Out, charging and data transfer, which is really nice to see. You have a little security lock, a Kensington security lock there, which is also something that is not present in many of the other Lenovo laptops I've tried. Then we move to the back side, which I also think is pretty interesting, because most laptops will only have your ports on the left side and on the right side. But here, some of the ports have been moved to the back side, which sort of keeps them out of the way, which can be really nice in some cases. So here we have two USB-A ports, and then we have a Lenovo proprietary power adapter. So this one is used when you want to max out the computer with both CPU power and GPU power, but elsewhere you are going to be able to charge it with the USB-C. When we look at the more in-depth specs here, you can see that this guy comes with a Ryzen 9, 7 or 5 CPU. So you either get the 5900HX or the 5800H or the 5600H. Then you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, which hopefully can be upgraded to Windows 11, since that is starting to become the standard for the future of the laptop market. You have the display, which I find really interesting here. And this is a 16 inch 2.5K, so that's 2560 times 1600. It is a 400 nit brightness, which is a really good amount of brightness. And then you have 100% sRGB color gamut. So this is pretty much the perfect kind of display, I think, and really something that would suit all my needs for all work that I do. You have uh, up to 16 gigabyte RAM, which is hopefully upgradable, but we're gonna have a look at that a little bit later. Then you have a 71 watt hour battery and rapid charge technology and a one terabyte SSD as a max. As for graphics, the max you can spec this out with is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, which is a 75 watt chip. 
So that's pretty solid graphics power. And it's going to be interesting to see if that is in most of the configurations or if there are other configurations with only the built-in AMD Radeon graphics to keep the price level down a little bit. Then they were talking about those security features. So here they mentioned the firmware-based trusted platform module, touch fingerprint reader integrated in the power button, you have a privacy shutter for the webcam, you have Windows Hello with IR camera and secure bio. As for most 16-inch laptops, you will have a very full-sized keyboard together with a number pad. And in the new Lenovo 16 inches, you also have full-size arrow keys, which is something I know a lot of people really appreciate. Here with the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, you also get a pretty large touchpad, which is also very nice for using touchpad comfortably on a daily basis. The dimensions here are pretty standard, I would say, with 2 cm thickness at the thickest point, 35.6 cm uh, wide, and then 25.2 mm uh, deep. And we have a starting weight of 2 kg, which is really good in the 16 inch form factor. And I think 2 kg is sort of the perfect balance for this kind of machine, where you can have pretty much everything you need in one device. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5, and unfortunately still a 720p webcam. It would have been so nice to see a bit of a higher resolution webcam in this kind of business-oriented laptop. They also specify here that you get Lenovo Vantage, McAfee and Microsoft Office. So they are very honest about what kind of bloatware they put in the laptop. And this part is quite interesting because here it says that it's a 65 watt AC adapter that is included in the box. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me if the graphics alone is pulling 75 watts. So it must be a 130 watt charger that is included. And this seems more like a 65 watt USB-C charger that could be provided with some of the non-GPU models. So that's a, an interesting specification there. How about the things that I was whining about with the IdeaPad 5i Pro 16? Well, one of the things were the upgradability and partly upgradable RAM and partly upgradable SSD storage. And there I specifically mean I want two slots for SSDs so I can put another SSD in and use for storing my video content, for example. And there is no specification here stating whether that is available. So we're going to have to look elsewhere to see if someone has looked into the upgradability of this machine. So here I found another specification sheet which has different specs than the one that was on the Lenovo US website. So this is quite interesting to cover as well. Here we have stated up to 32 gigabytes of memory, which is a lot better than what was stated before. And then we have stated a slim 230 watt charger. So that's very different to what they stated with a 65 watt charger on the website. But still, there is no information here on upgradability, so I'm going to keep looking to see if I can find that data somewhere. I've been looking around quite a bit to find some uh, more information here, but it's pretty hard to find. However, I see that it is available in the Singapore Lenovo store, and here you have two different models available. One that is available for 2000 Singapore dollars, which is about 1500 US dollars. And that one is with the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H and it is with 8GB solid RAM and an 8GB stick. So it is upgradable RAM for sure. Uh, the storage though states nothing about a second slot. We have the 3060 uh, 6GB graphics card and we have a 71 watt hour battery. And this is really interesting. We have a 1080p webcam with privacy shutter. So that is much better than what I thought would be available from looking at that first specification in the US store. It also states here that we have the 230 watt slim power adapter. So I don't know what that 65 watt adapter thing was about. Here we also have in one of the Nordic stores a model that is available. And this is with the Ryzen 7 5800H. It also comes with a, a GeForce RTX 3060 and uh, uh, elsewhere it's the same spec as before. But this one costs almost 2000 euros, including the Swedish sales tax of 25%. So it's fairly more expensive and this is reaching the kind of price level where I'm not sure if I think this is the right laptop 
for my use cases or for the viewers of this channel that are usually interested in an affordable option that still has a lot of things to it. Here, after a lot of browsing, I finally found a Reddit thread where someone has posted a picture of this laptop opened up so you can see whether there's two SSD slots in it. And here, as you can see, there is the one SSD slot. And up here, there is another one, which is also a full size 2280 SSD slots. So it really checks the boxes for upgradability quite a lot. And the only thing that is a little bit sad is that it doesn't seem to be upgradable to 64 gigabytes of RAM, which would have been the perfect situation. It's really hard at this state to say something about the cooling solutions of this laptop because I haven't tried it and there's not a lot of tests of it right now. But I hope because it's got those cooling vents on all the different sides that it is going to be possible to cool itself pretty well. And uh, we'll see. I mean, it's got some pretty powerful components in it with both the AMD CPU in the H series, so that's a 45 watt chip, together with this 75 watt RTX 3060. What do you think? Is the Lenovo ThinkBook 16P a device that you could think of buying and using for a few years to come? I definitely think that it could be something that could replace the laptops that I'm currently using and be my one and only laptop actually. I'm just a little bit cautious about that price tag that I see in the Scandinavian market. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye.